Hello, I'm Martin Donnelly from the Digital Curation Centre at the University of Edinburgh. This is my Software Sustainability Institute Fellowship application screencast. Uh, the first thing I should say about myself is that I'm not professionally a software guy, uh, but rather software is a thread that runs through uh, my life, uh, both personally and professionally. Um, and threads run through things, they join them together, and that's what I try to do. I'm a communicator and a kind of liaison type of guy. Uh, there are three, uh, three themes which uh, characterise this application, those of integration, interdisciplinarity and internationalism. And over the next five and a half minutes or so, I'll say a little bit about each and how they uh, relate to this application. So I've worked in higher education for the last 15 years or so, moving fairly organically from cultural heritage to digital preservation through policy and quality. Uh, and now on to data management and open science, uh, which is the main, f uh, the main focus of my work at the DCC at Edinburgh since 2008. Uh, in the ancient past, in the early noughties, uh, I did an MSc in information technology that involved lots of uh, Java programming and SQL queries and things like that. And that followed an MA in English literature, both from the University of Glasgow. Uh, more recently, I conceived and project managed the first iterations of the DMP uh, online data management planning software. Uh, and more recently, I've taken MOOC courses from Johns Hopkins University and uh, a data carpentry workshop at a recent IDCC conference. Um, the kind of work that I do, I'm fundamentally a communicator. Um, I've uh, written in varied formats for different audiences, and there are a couple of examples there for those who are interested in following them up. Uh, I've given presentations in around 20 countries in, in the last five years or so, uh, in, in addition to numerous uh, webinars, so I present in various kind of um, formats. Uh, I'm a member of the Digital Preservation Coalition's Communications and Advocacy Subcommittee, uh, and I coordinate the uh, Research Data Management Forum community and series of events, as well as uh, keying into the Repository Fringe uh, Organising Committee as well. Um, in the policy sphere, I'm an expert reviewer for um, uh, the European Commission's Horizon 2020 data management uh, plans and also uh, do policy analysis in, in partnership with Spark Europe. Um, I'm a consultant. I have contracts in higher education and beyond, incre uh, increasingly and including uh, government and international uh, clients. Um, about 40% of my work uh, at the moment is spent on open science advocacy and training. Um, I'm a member of the Foster Consortium, uh, which seeks to um, facilitate the adoption of open science techniques um, and, uh, and training, and I promote uh, local and institutional champions networks and the use of open standards and things like that. So advocating for uh, doing the right thing when it comes to uh, open science. Um, a quick breakdown of what that um, uh, constitutes. Uh, open science is the combination of open access publication, uh, data archiving, sharing of code and transparency and working methods and together that uh, contributes to a longer lasting and a more robust scholarly record. Uh, the benefits of such a thing uh, in the short term, uh, the academic quality can be checked and assured and the um, science can be uh, reproduced where possible. Uh, in the medium term, the reuse and repurposing uh, of scholarly resources and for the longer term, preservation uh, and the maintenance of the historical record. Um, if successful, I would expect that um, a major focus of my fellowship will be to promote the adoption of software management planning approaches um, and seeking to encourage their convergence and integration uh, with data management planning and open science more generally at a policy level. Uh, 2018, I'll be working quite a lot in European work. Uh, it coincides with the training and advocacy events I'll be carrying out for on behalf of the FOSTER project uh, and indeed with lots of other European projects that the DCC uh, is involved in, and that will include the policy-oriented work uh, that I do with uh, Spark Europe, and I'll obviously be seeking to explore synergies with these. Uh, I would expect to be representing the SSI's interests at events and meetings and aiming to influence funders like the Commission, to the extent that anyone can influence the Commission, uh, to afford software the same attention as data currently gets. Uh, we found that the, um, the open science conversation really began with open access uh, publications and in, in recent years the focus has moved at a European level um, and at a UK level and at various levels onto uh, data. Uh, I expect software to be the next, uh, the, the next link in that chain and I would encourage a kind of holistic and joined up approach to uh, different kinds of research output. Uh, more locally, I'd be seeking to encourage crossover and collaborative work with local groups uh, in Scotland, in Edinburgh, such as Codepace and the Open Knowledge Scotland and Edinburgh chapters, as well as the DPC. Uh, I would expect to be proposing a Birds of a Feather workshop for Repository Fringe 
uh, in August 2018, and I would be looking to investigate organising um, a software re stroke research outputs policy workshop at a major meeting or conference, possibly a research data alliance plenary meeting. Um, so that's it from me. Um, if you're interested in learning more about me and my work, the work of the DCC, uh, follow any of these links. Uh, and thank you very much for your attention and your time.